Hello everyone. I promise you guys for the story. Any story that I wanted to, you know, put it all. And I want to put this one, I'll leave this unedited and I just have to leave it here. So, I'm going to have whatever this video is going to be. This is it. There's nothing I could change from. But I will pause this every single time so that I will know when it's coming, okay? I don't know when it's coming, I don't know where to start. So, let's just do this. Let's start with the story. Okay, so. How did I have the first house? Well, not really the first house. How do we have my daughter and myself owning a house in Cebu City? There are a bunch of bunch of story about Garden Bloom A Care Center. That is one of the villages that me and my mom lived there for a long time. Because we lived, because I lived there when I was a kid, like maybe two years old, all the way to eleven years old. That is in 2011. That is before going to the U.S. Because my grandfather used to live in the U.S. for uh, for somewhere a long time and now I have a living in there but I really miss Mizubu but from all the memories that I have is that they have houses we live in that one story house we have everything we have the living room and the kitchen they're all jumbled in one we got bedroom, we got bathroom, we have a living room, dining room, and the kitchen, they're all jumbled in that one whole room. And the garden is just more on, more of it, there are lots and lots of garden. And we are right close to the canal, okay, we are right close to the bridge and the, there's a canal over there. Let me, I've been living there for that long. And then when the Susie comes, we upgraded it to a, a two floor, a two floor house. We have a uh, lots of spaces over there. Right at the back when we have that door, it's just outside. Now we have more things expanded now. And it's going to be our living room right there. And on top of that, we have a stairs. We have a particular stairs. And then on the top there is the second floor. We have another room, a huge white room, and there's a bathroom inside. And then once you open the door, there's another room. Got a lot of space going there. Because and the sissy used to live there, but she moves back to New Zealand. I think that so we have a bunch, a bunch of houses now, and it's all in a row and determines the address of what street are you going to. And the streets they have are like the addresses, they're like the flowers that we have. And what we ended up is the Guamel. We don't know what a Guamel is, it's some sort of like a, a red flower. And then we have a Guamela, it is a some sort of a red flower. You can also put that one in your ear, there has like a, there's a stem, but it has a little buzz, it's little seeds all over it. So we're in the Golden Melon Street, and we're the first one. We're the very first one. In that house, all around us are, right next to it, it's just a canal, and on the other side, we have huge mountains. There's like a big, big, giant tree. And that's why a garden bloom, I guess, and it has like a big tree. And that represents that. It's a huge tree. And then once you go down, there are tons and tons of motorcycles that are waiting for you if you want to go somewhere. And then we'll take your motor. It'll take the motor. will take you exiting out from the pathways because there's like a pathways because there's some houses that's outer villages that might have to. Walk up, I have to ride upon, or you can just walk there and just have to physically walk yourself down all the way to that windy path, windy road 
to enter the Garden Blue Media Center. And you gotta go out, if you wanna go outside, wanna be on that road, do it all over again. It's a very long route, so you gotta, and you have to get, and I got used to it. And I'm, I don't really mind. Okay. When I usually go outside, because when I was in the Garden Blue Media Center, I was very active. I like to hang out, go outside, hang out with friends, and do whatever the heck we want. Either we play basketball, play some games, our usual Filipino games there. And we have a lot of fun. They are all, they're all such kids, and I'm like the, the biggest bear that you've ever seen. And everyone else is our little, little ones. I was so into it, I was so fun into it, that it was very surprising that I played it all day until the night time. <laughs> and yeah, and I had to be running home sometimes my mom like, got caught when I like stay up too uh, late, like 9pm or some sort. Because in the night time then there would be like birthday parties going on that I wasn't invited with. I'm just visiting there just for visiting birthday party. Even in the center, there is like there's like a hall. It's an open, wide hall where you can just have some events right there, like birthday parties. Just birthday parties in general. Just we have been in that place. And next to it is there's a bridge. There's a basketball court. A huge basketball court and this is where they play basketball late night time it's also in the morning and they could also do some little you know, DJs or having a little disco at night yeah it happens too like not, not okay oh, occasionally occasionally we have to adapt that's why we love I love that house it's all all those memories that we have in here. There's, and then when I walk down the street, they're like houses, every single one of them. They're like a lot. And I just had to walk down, reaches out to the, the end of the street. But there's not, not just the. It's not, it's not, it's not just the uh, garden blue maker. There are some other houses. Because they're all part in Pitogo, Consolation Cebu. We're in Consolation, we're in Cebu. It's in a, we're that little leaf of, it's a kind of a leaf, leaf one. And we're in Consolation, it's just somewhere down in the, somewhere down in the north. Sort of, a little upper north. Right? It's just a few miles far down the, Far down in Cebu, from Cebu City, you have to go a little up north. And there's Pitogo or Castellasha, and where Pitogo is a, a little village or a little town of Pitogo. It's just, just a bunch, bunch of houses there. And you've seen that, there's a lot of journeys to it, and we usually went, we usually ride something, we just ride jeepney, we ride the jeep, you know, we have a colorful uh, vehicle, it's called jeepney, and we ride some certain things to different places. Okay, whew, there are a lot of memories that I have in one of my villages in Garden Bull Make here. Always be in my heart with all things in my mind, mind cause that was the only home to live there. And it's not even a poor world, it's a rich world. It's a, a neighborhood. We're in suburbia or something like that. Because right now I live here, it is a suburbia. Suburban things just it's every, it's every single house of it, it's just it's weird. But I love with all my heart, all the memories that I have, all the bad memories that I have. 
and as of right now, this is the day of the Berlin live in that house. Now, in some other beat and some people that I recognize there. So yeah, she now lived in our house so that we don't wanna we don't wanna empty it out ourselves out, which is nothing else to do here. So it was nice that we have our look house and they remodel it. They turn it into a green and did in our in the couch it was used to be white. But now it's just turned into a red a red seat. Hmm. They get all the job painting done and all that. And back in our garden there used to be a wide full of flowers and everything there. But now Uncle Boom came here, they're chickens. Yep. Everything that we have is just now chickens. They're a bunch of bunch of chickens. <laughs> and I feed them and I drink them. No, I feed all those pellets. I feed the chickens and I drink them. Right? And I give them a drink. So that is a thing. And now, today, they turn that into a just garden. They turn the garden into a garage. A brand new backyard. No, oh, yeah, it rain come into a parking lot, a brand new parking lot for that house. And there's no garden left. They just got rid of everything. Because back in our days, we have houses and some something. We have lots of flowers. So, so we used to uh, have fun as well in the pool. We have this inflatable pool. To just hang out and we have this drawing us with the popsicle and we were in bed I have me and Nigel we just like okay we just was on this video and we're naked <laughs> and I'm not kidding guys we are naked it's true guys it's true he took us those pictures and we did all that naked I mean, have you ever noticed that there have some pictures you have a baby, have pictures when you're a little kid, but you still have everything is showing? Yeah, and that that happens, guys. It happens. And oh, sure, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, we went to a tricycle trip, and we went from we we're going somewhere, either in the mall or. In the market, we just ride tricycles, and we just love enjoying the ride. Or we just walk. We have to walk from our home all the way to the end of that the ramp, to that winding road with all the houses that has been in there before the before Garden. I have that <laughs> a lot of things in my mind now. And we used to hang out with friends, but now in the United States, I've changed. <laughs> I've changed already, and I don't usually hang out with friends anymore because Facebook, because of the social media. It's taken over, and we just like to stay home and hang out with friends that they mostly know me of, but they just don't talk about them. It's just all into this creation. Because in the Philippines, in the house, only home, where they have memories that I have been keeping for my whole time. And they have friends, I have my family, and I have my friends and the queens visiting here. No, just to get socialized, just to hang out, have some party to ourselves. And we go somewhere, places that we hadn't been going to. And that's why we love it so much that our home is our home in Pitoko Construction Cebu in Cebu. That's the one place that I would like to go back and see how it changes. It's been over a decade, and if I would come back there and see what they have done, 
it will be awesome. And some of my friends have lived there and they moved on. They moved to some more places. They already went to college now and they're just moving to some more places. Some of them stay in Cebu, some of them going out of places. All my old classmates are there. They left Cebu and they moved to some more places and I know. Good luck to the future endeavors. And I hope you listening to all my old students from San Francisco School. And if you're watching this, hey, don't call me yourself a loser because I know you're watching. You already know who you are. I'm not name dropping anything. You already know who you are. This here, I got lots of stuff to deal with. I'm not turning to you guys, I'm turning to myself because. I'm only against myself. I against myself. But uh, thank you for reminding me. But you always be have a lot of memories into it. And for all you Sunrises students that you have been in my classroom with all of that stuff, thank you. Thank you for sharing me and now I am changing. I wish I could add you guys on Facebook to some of you, but I mean I only add you guys to some of you guys. Because you haven't heard me the whole time. So I gotta I had to let go of all that frustration, all that confession. I had to get something out of my chest just to myself on, on that one when I was in Philippines and the Dago Constellation Cebu is my home but it's not my place that I was born because I was born in Elegant City and that's the original place that I was born but Cebu City will always be in my heart I will come back there and visit that place because my favorite place too. Well, I that's it. This is that is my day, guys, and I want to say thank you so much for telling me all the stories that I have and what I have experienced in Cebu because that that occasion will be stuck in my head for the rest of my life. But if I will come back to Cebu City and visit them, sure. I want to vlog there. I want to see how people have been changed throughout this. I, mean, I, just, I just don't know. I've never been so happy right now, but I wanted to. I you know, in a while. So, it's me. Alright, guys. Bye, everyone.